Hello and welcome to The Fermentation Show. I'm your host, Alistair Bird, and today we're gonna to be making some milk kefir ice cream. So you may be wondering why we're making milk kefir ice cream. Well, the reason is a lot of people don't like the taste of milk kefir, and I completely understand that because I'm not too fond on the taste of milk kefir myself. So milk kefir ice cream is the perfect solution for someone who wants to start having milk kefir and including it into their diet, but isn't really fond on the flavor of it. There is a, a lot of ways that you can put milk kefir into other things. People put it in smoothies, people put it in milkshakes, and these products are completely fine and they go with milk kefir and still drastically change the taste of it. And it's a perfect way for people that don't like the taste of milk kefir to be able to drink it. So we thought, yes, we could put it in a smoothie or a milkshake, but that's basic. That's basic. And we don't want basic. We want full on, full blown, delicious. And that is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to make. So today we are making mint chocolate chip kefir ice cream. So there's not a lot of ingredients you need for this. You can make any flavor ice cream you want. I like the taste of mint chocolate chip ice cream. So that's the one I'm gonna be making. So what are we gonna be using? We're gonna be using our own brand of milk kefir. You can get this on the freshly fermented website. The link in the description will be down below. And this will be the one we're gonna be using today. Milk kefir has way more strain of different types of healthy bacteria than any other fermented product. More than water kefir, more than kombucha, more than jun tea. This has it all. And a lot of people are starting to realize that, which is why when patients go into doctors now, querying about gut health, they recommend this. However, one thing with milk kefir, there is two different types. You have the homemade version, which uses milk kefir grains, and you have the store-bought version, which uses a freeze-dried milk kefir. Now, don't get me wrong, the store-bought version of milk kefir is actually really nice, and I'm not doubting its flavor in any way. It just doesn't compare beneficially to homemade kefir. Right, so enough about that. Let's start making some milk kefir ice cream. So we have our milk kefir here. Milk kefir does tend to separate, so just make sure that you give it a firm shake about. Not too much because uh, milk kefir can get fizzy. So just give it a shake about so that it is not separated too much. That is absolutely fine. The second ingredient you will need to make milk kefir ice cream is double cream. This is Elm Tree, Elm, this is Elm Lee. Didn't know the uh, brand name until now. So yeah, we've got some double cream, which is gonna be good and which is gonna give the ice cream a more thicker consistency. We also have some vanilla extract. So we use vanilla extract to kind of give it that base flavor. You can simply make ice cream, I'm fairly sure, with just this. Oh, no, ha ha, ha, I forgot the sugar again. I forgot the sugar again. Oh my God, I haven't added sugar. <laughs> I haven't added sugar. Oh my God, how could I be so foolish? I haven't added sugar. I should know better than that. Golly, jeez. Right, bear with me. <laughs> how much sugar do we need? Uh, well, that'll do, that'll be fine. So, oh. Hi right, mate, um, quick question. So we have some vanilla extract, which is kind of the base. You can just make vanilla ice cream if you want. However, that is not what we're gonna be doing. We are still gonna be making some mint chocolate chip ice cream. And to make mint chocolate chip ice cream, there are three more key ingredients. So the next one, we have American peppermint flavoring to give it that, that mint chocolate chip flavor. We have some green food coloring. And uh, next we have some mint, Mint? Mint? Milk chocolate chips, which will be our chocolate chips in the mint chocolate chip ice cream. And there's one more key ingredient, and that is sugar. I will not forget the sugar this time. We all know what happened last time. However, we have an issue. <laughs> I forgot the sugar. <laughs> Let me explain. I forgot the sugar while planning for today. Uh, so I had to go into our office kitchen and find some sugar. I thought it was, you know, at home you've got the sugar pots. I thought we'd have one of those. I don't drink tea at work or coffee, so no one I know. 
We don't. We don't have the big bags. I'll tell you what we do have though. So this is my punishment for not bringing in sugar. I now have to open all of these packs and get 100 grams of sugar. I have no idea how much is in one of these. I was hoping five grams. I can tell that's lost. Okay, so we did the sugar. We had just enough with five packets to spare. So we have, oh, and it was 150 grams, not 100 grams. So that was a pleasant surprise when I did 100 gram book for the instructions and found out I was supposed to do more. So, uh, so what we're gonna do first is we need a mixing bowl. Exactly like this. So next what we're gonna do is get our cream and pour all of it into our bowl, just like so. Now I'm pretty sure this is the right cream. I'm gonna assume it is, oh, I made a mess. So we've got our cream in there now and I have kitchen roll to spare. So this is our cream. And next what we're gonna do is add all of our sugar to the cream. Now, one issue with this recipe is it does use a lot of sugar. So it wouldn't be a daily thing, it's a lot of sugar to take in. And that's the amount of sugar you need for 500 milliliters of ice cream. So all in all, you're gonna be using a lot of sugar. Let's do that. So the sugar is covered. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a measuring jug and measure, sorry. Huh. <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's always the sugar. <laughs> so let me give you a little backstory. The recipe I found, I didn't have enough creams. So I decided to cut the recipe completely in half. And in theory, half all of the ingredients. Can you guess what ingredient I forgot to half? Because it's already in there. I added too much sugar. Well, this episode is already shambles, isn't it? But we'll, uh, we'll continue. <laughs> so we've added too much sugar, which in, is fine. It's not, but you know, well, well, I, 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 there's nothing I could do. So next we need 150 milliliters of milk kefir. Again, this milk clear is bought off the freshly fermented website. If you would like to buy a bottle of authentic milk clear, do buy our ready-made drinks. And if you want a home make, buy some milk clear grain. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? So let's measure 150 milliliters. Oh, I don't really like doing this because they do get quite fizzy. So I'm going to put it here, right in front of the camera, just in case it does explode in my face. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Oh, it's gassed. Please don't. Oh. Oh, panic over. So let's measure 150 milliliters of this. Now it's not a lot of milk fear, admitted. It's only 150 milliliters. But it's, it's still enough to get yourself some probiotics. We recommend taking 250 milliliters of milk for a day. We find that's the uh, ideal amount you really need. So, here we go, let's pour this in. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk it. And this is the part where it goes everywhere. I don't have a plug socket near the camera, so I'm gonna quickly whisk it and uh, I will be right back. Uh, I forgot something. <laughs> what you also wanna add is about a teaspoon of this. I don't have a teaspoon. I could get one, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get one. I'm just gonna get one. I'm not even gonna bother guessing. I know I'll do it wrong. So we're gonna add a teaspoon 
of vanilla extract. We're also going to add a teaspoon, I think. Maybe we'll add, no, yeah, we will add a teaspoon. We'll add a teaspoon of this American peppermint extract as well. Oh God, yeah, no, no, I, do you know what? I was worried when I picked this up that it wouldn't be the right mint. I know there's a lot of mints out there, but yeah, no, this is dead on the right one. I'll add a little bit more. Again, this is not a tutorial. I have already, you know, messed this up. So please do not copy me. <laughs> so yeah, I did start whisking it and then realized that I pretty much forgot half of the ingredients. So I came back. Well, you might have had to add it after, but then I realized that adding vanilla extract, peppermint extract and food coloring to cream that's already clotted is way more difficult. Now, you have to add a huge I was going to say a few drops. Oh, a little bit more. We'll see what happens. That was probably too much. <laughs> that was probably too much. I did too much green. <laughs> so uh, it looks very green. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a bit too much green. So yeah, now we're going to add the chocolate chips. These are a bit too big, but uh, I'll allow it. So we're not going to add the whole bag. Just going to add a majority of the bag. And then we just need a spoon, a spoon to just stir it all in. So uh, we gave it another whisk and I'm fairly sure that is ready now. I'm not going to whisk it anymore because I'm confident that that is pretty much all I need. So. I underestimated how much it would make. I didn't take in the fact that whipping it would increase the the, uh, the amount it makes. So you need something like this so you can scrape the bottoms while it's freezing. So what we're gonna do is just pour this in here. All of the uh, chocolate chips are stuck at the bottom. So let's get that all out. Here we are. So now let's just make sure that that takes to every side. Also give the chocolate chips a little stir around so that they are evenly placed everywhere. So now what we're going to do is put this in the freezer and every half an hour just give it a stir to make sure it's freezing all the way through. And in about two to three hours, we should have some ice cream. So let's put this in the freezer and I will see you in two to three hours. So what are we going to do today, Sophie? <laughs> Try and cafe ice cream. You bet we are. Right, so here we are. Can I smell it? You can, yeah, go on. That smells really nice. What does it smell? <laughs> Just mint chocolate ice cream. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It, do it really does. Do you not like the smell? No, I do. No, it genuinely does smell like mint. It's really good. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's soft. I didn't let it freeze completely. I mean, the color. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I added a bit too much. Is this my spoon? So that's your spoon. Before you eat it, I have to admit something. I, uh, I messed up the recipe a little bit. <laughs> Would you like to know what I did uh, by mistake? Not really. So yeah, you did. So pretty much, I had the instructions down and then what I did was uh, I had to half it because I had only half the amount of cream. So I had to half everything. However, there's one thing I forgot to half and that was the sugar. So there's supposed, oh, to, there's, supposed to, <laughs> there's supposed to be 75 grams in there 
is 150. Oh, brilliant. It's very, it's very sweet. I have a lot of sugar in my tea. Right, go on. So if you want to take a test, take a spoonful, and let me know what you think. Oh, it is soft. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's it like is. It's mousse. Yeah, it's like a yogurt. Have you tried it? Yeah, no, I've had some. Do you like it? Yeah, no, I actually do. It's really nice. Genuinely really nice. I bet he's lying to me. No, 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 it's really nice, really nice. Don't, don't mate, get a spoonful. What, what was that? Get a spoon. It is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. that's, yeah, that's fine. Right. <laughs> Go on. Do you like it? You're going to throw up? <laughs> no, you're not. Are you? No. I thought it was really nice. Do you not like it? It's got the twang at the end. Yeah, there we are. She likes it. Do you like it? Okay. So get, we're getting a second opinion. You like it? I like that. You like that? Do you? Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right, okay. Right. What, what, what did you think of the ice cream? It's very sweet. That's because you messed up I I think I should do this show but <laughs> it's got that twang at the end of it so you can tell the milk is there like no, not really because really? I got the, so when you taste ice cream it's obviously completely sweet but I, you can taste a little sour thing at the end you can taste like the tiniest bit of sour yeah, yeah, yeah. like nothing to put you off yeah nothing I, nothing nothing <laughs> I prefer that than normal ice cream that's not lie. <laughs> That's not lie. Okay, don't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wouldn't. To... <laughs> if, I, if I turn around to you and say, like, all right, so you can either have some milk kefir ice cream or some cookie dough Ben and Jerry's. What are you picking? Well, this is really good for your gut. It is. Re... Yeah, okay. All right, let's take that Actually, one. It's It's .co.uk. Oh. Right, so final verdict. What would you give the ice cream out of 10? A solid eight. Eight. So, it's time for the final verdict. What would you give that out of 10? A 10. Yeah! Okay, we're done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Fermentation Show. If you did enjoy, please do consider giving a like. And if you don't want to miss another episode in the future, maybe subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a good evening. Thank you very much.